Warning, we are not responsible for any booty shaking, titty licking, drinking, cheating, or any other irresponsible actions you're about to watch. I hope you're watching. <sighs> Let's boogie. All I care about is the D, motherfucker. I am a white woman. Okay, so I was like, this is definitely gonna be awful. Dr. Till is a racist. This meeting's over. <laughs> I'll go somewhere else, Mr. Rockstar. Why are you touching my ball? It's not cheat code behavior. You're just blaming the followers for the, the path of a lesbian. Hundreds oh. of years I have slept. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Robots. Yay! You can't act black. Machine gun in the wieners. Microwave. 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 I don't know why I, I you know, there's sometimes there's things you say where you're just like, I, I don't know where that came from, but it just popped in my head and I, I had to say it. I don't know where Brazilian Judas came from. <laughs> you know what it is? You look it's like what the, the, the old movies, <laughs> with the pictures, with the fucking beard and shit. Welcome everybody back to the Ministry of Dude. How's it going out there? Hit that like button. And share this link on all your favorite social medias. And of course, this is the week, the week leading up to the premiere of the Hammer Clubs, exclusively on Locals. So go sign up to ministrydo.locals.com and uh, you know, come join us for the Hammer Club. Be there or be square. Kyle, I wish, I wish you knew how like much it's like. It's welling up inside me to hit the crash button just to fucking annoy you, but I'm not gonna do it because you've already you, I don't get you finally figured it out. It doesn't annoy me. <laughs> and I was like, God, dude, there was like a point where I'm just like, I'm hitting the button, I'm just going inside. I'm like, I can't believe no one is said anything. Anything. You, you're a, you're a good boy. People don't want to hurt you inside, you know. But I need it sometimes. <laughs> Don't worry. Hey, Eric the bottom is nothing well. <laughs> is safe. That includes me, right? <laughs> I am. Right. A, I'm a part of something, right? I'm uh, carrying the Fitzpatrick legacy, you know. Can I tell you what my? Okay, so people who, who don't know what we're talking about, uh, Friday Night Legion. Kyle finally figured out what I was doing with the whole like the you know the. That sh you know the, the the fucking crashed out and all that shit. Finally figured out I was I'm just was just aping Red Bull. <laughs> that's it. I was that's all. I was doing. Although I did I did have fun. I will admit, I st I did start like using you know ones like the <laughs> like that that one feels good to me. <laughs> yeah, well, we got original stuff. We, we have our own. Zen Reynolds and Hammer Club sounds like something you would you would do down at the gay club on the weekend. Yep. <laughs> Damn it. No, I don't mind, but I know that eventually, <laughs> eventually that shit's gonna, the internet's gonna bite your ass on that shit. So oh, I was I trying to protect shit. you. I don't buddy. give a shit. <laughs> I was trying to protect you. I honestly, you know what, you know what, I'll be completely 100% honest with you, Kyle. You know what it was? I couldn't come up with a name for like the premium level and I was just like looking around and I saw my hammers sitting in like the, the top of my I have a I have a long box of like a uh, uh, Legend of the Dark Knight comics over here I've been collecting mm -hmm. and the lid is what my hammers are sitting in and I was just like looking around going what do I name like the ha hammer club sure Am I wearing <laughs> lipstick? Sure. <laughs> no, it's just great. <laughs> I mean, it, it fits. It, it's it's about as a uh, you know, right amount of effort. <laughs> it's just like literally just looking around, going that. I guess <laughs> I'll call it that. I don't know. <laughs> I have a, a meme ham a hammer meme. We'll use that. You were like a uh, Batman club. No, Bad, no, no, that's yeah, good. Honestly, uh, there was a point where, like, 
<laughs> Make fun? No, I'll get sued for that. <laughs> right. The Batmans? No, no, can't do, still sue worthy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna have a. I'm already getting ready for this this first episode. Um, I think we're gonna spend a quite a bit of time with Hotep Jesus. Ooh. Motherfucker is infuriating. Hammerheads Nashes. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It was the baiting song when I saw a thumbnail of that. Yeah. Oh, how cute Hammerhead! I was cheating, and I was like, "No, oh, I'll figure it out later." <laughs> Someone should make a Hammerhead shark with a little hat that Till wears. Oh, oh. Okay. how would they fit though? Right between the eyes. Corey says head. Till collecting hammers for the Gay Communist Manifesto. <laughs> God damn it, Corey! Uh, Why Steel do you, you have? Hal is not a stripper. She's a nice, upstanding lady. She only gets naked for me. But I do have to pay her. <laughs> only just say, Corey love, say the darkest things. Yeah, she really want my money. <laughs> Corey say the darkest things. Anyway, why is the hat crooked? Is that a, is that a, a style Why is my thing? hat crooked? I, I'm being a little stylish today. No, I just literally was like, fuck hat. I didn't even realize it was crooked. Did you, Nacho did said you just, the you hammer and claw society. I, that's not bad. I kind of like that. Maybe it will evolve into that. Maybe I'll just change the name one day when I'm sick of it being called the Hammer Claw. I don't think the hammer, the, the hammer. I don't think the name is the the, the big bigger of the issues. Right, right. It, it depends on how. Yeah, on how the whole thing is conducted. Well, I mean, does she die? I don't know. What did that happen to? She dead. Uh, oh, well. Anyways, we got a lot of shit to talk about tonight. Um, we got some more rip of shit. It's quick though. It's like a like a two minute video, so it shouldn't be too bad. Um, yes, Corey, that is correct. Hal is a beautiful and sexy lady, and she's mine. So hands off, Mister Flockstra. <laughs> Trying to steal my woman out there, giving her compliments and shit. Gonna make me jealous, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but also the big story that I'm sure many of you have heard P. Diddy's uh, mansion in Los Angeles got raided by the by Homeland Security today that's a Ooh. weird that's a weird uh, organization to do the raiding you would think like FBI um, even like I don't know like regular just police so we, we got a uh, you know, some video from that shit. And then uh, we've, we've got um, this new guy who I'm sure many of you have seen out there, but I think this guy might be perfect for our Hammer Club. Now, he, he mainly posts on Twitter. Maybe you've seen him, Kyle. Have you heard of Rabbi Shmuley? No, you've never heard of Rabbi Shmuley. I'm not oh, on Twitter. Second. I forgot to I forgot to bonk Hal. I told Hal I was gonna bonk her. There you go, Hal. You are bonked. Consider yourself bonked, Hal. <laughs> there you go. Got my woman in place. Uh, Rabbi Shmuley is. Um... My PC is acting gay. Oh no. Yeah. Did you try sending it to a conversion? What the fuck? I bet it was the hamster's fault. What happened no. to your camera, Toasty? I don't, I don't know. What the fuck? How said it before I fucking... He was going to say something, Slick. I know what? it. You're always what? mean to me. What? I didn't say shit. I was about to say, I, I was saying, did you serve cold dinner to your fucking computer? Because you deserve it, if that's the case. I don't know. What the fuck? What's wrong with my camera? I don't know. Oh what is gosh. wrong with the camera? I don't know what's wrong with my camera. Just stare at it. See if it fixes I'll fix itself. it. I'll fix it. I don't know. That's <laughs> this, that's this bald bitch. I think it's a problem with your camera. It's showing this bald bitch on a camera. I don't know what it is. I think it's a <laughs> virus. so fucking mean to me. Does your camera remove hair? Oh, what the hell? Oh, okay. Now I'm too close. What is this? 
the hell? I don't know. What are you doing, Toasty? This is like, I don't know. This is like what abduction it's, stuff. It's, they shouldn't see this stuff. The audience is, they shouldn't see this kind of thing. She's still, what is she doing? <laughs> it's not me. That's it's, the cameras. It's going. I have a ghost. What? What? There's a ghost here. Yeah, it's called think, not having the drivers for the camera and still insisting I that's going to work. Kyle, I think it might be more simple than that. I think she simply just needs to clean her camera. No, it's clean. Wait. Oh, My no, camera no. never has a problem focusing. It's also a I got it. $900 camera. But that's that's beside you. the point. And you have the drivers. <laughs> yeah, and I have the drivers. <laughs> I have drivers too. All right, before we sure. get into our big stories tonight, I got a little uh, short here from our little lobster friend, Mr. Benjamin Thorpus the first. Who the It's a great story. Oh, screen, okay. Uh, that's Ben? Yeah, that's Ben Thorpe. Holy shit. Why does he look like a fucking... Look at, look at this mustache. He looks like a king lobster. <laughs> He looks like one of those AI generated images of like hipsters from the 1800s and you know, all with the big with the curly mustaches. Yeah. He thinks I'm cute. What? Who? He thinks I'm cute. Oh yeah. I was on this podcast. We need to we need to get more people that he doesn't know in there. I just would love to like have hey, speaking of what Yo, what up, Roots? Let me know if you want the link, buddy. All right, so Mr. Benjamin Thorpe, he has a uh, little short here called I'm Going After the the Bourgeois Catholics. I didn't know, like, Catholicism is kind of what? bougie, right? Damn, Kyle, that was a nice last stroke. He stroked his mic, you didn't see it? Yeah, are you on the... What did it... Why do the cats have like once a month? They get horny. Cats? I did this. Period? She was like. They call it heat. They're going into heat. The heat. Yeah, she's in heat. <laughs> anyway, what's a Catholic. Anyway, let's, let's hear him. Yeah, explain. let's hear him out. My religion. Look at a crucifix, guys, and think about what you've got up on your wall there. That was a naked man who was brutally murdered, who you worship you know as God. That is not a bourgeois religion. The idea that we are uh, people who are, you know, la ti da ti da, live, laugh, love. Ben, the Vatican's literally. Hey, how? Guess what? Bonked. <laughs> oh. What is he talking story. about? Who's who's so, bourgeois? He's this saying this. the it, Catholic only four Church people. is not is not bougie. It absolutely is bougie. The fucking Vatican's literally covered in gold. <laughs> like, what do you oh, right. mean? The Vatican, but everywhere else, only poor people are Catholics. You know what I'm saying? Yes, but that's why it's so bougie because they take all their money. Like even like no, like no. dude, even like he's talking about Catholics. He's talking mm -hmm. about Catholics being bougie. Catholics are bougie. Bougie are atheists. Are bougie. I don't know what he's talking. I about. mean, maybe I don't know. Let's hear a little more. Bullshit. I call bullshit you on did, it. it. My mortal it, enemies it, we'll get bonked are more nice now. Christian weak. women who pray for me. <laughs> okay, you're sitting there with your. What? Horrible marriage or non-existent relationship. You Projection. smile to control others. You've got your matching little bourgeois. <coughs> Who the fuck has a problem he doesn't, with, he... with Christian moms that pray for people? No, he doesn't know what bourgeois means. He doesn't know. He, does. he has no idea. He's, he just like, oh, it's a fancy word. He has no idea. What a retard. Which are... Isn't it, like clubs? isn't it like French aristocrats <laughs> or some shit? No, yeah, bourgeois is the ar aristocracy. It is now like a kind of like a, what would you say like a? No, it's millionaires. Well, yeah, millionaires. But it, and what I'm saying is like it's a it's a shorthand now for like, you know, people who act 
like they're rich or dress like they're rich or buy things like boozy, boozy. Yeah, and that's not having tablecloth praying for people. Is that bougie? Yeah, that's not I bougie. Know. I don't know how uh, talking about that Catholics aren't bougie spun into. Uh, I hate. Maybe Christian he means boomer. Pray for you. Right. Maybe he means boomer. Boomers. I don't know. That, that I can Man, agree. Are you out there? What the fuck did you mean by this? Because none of this makes any fucking sense. <laughs> it does. What was he talking about? Catholics aren't bougie. Uh, like, I guess, like, the people who are, like, believe in the faith generally aren't, but the Catholicism itself is very fucking bougie. No, like, it's, it's all, bougie. it's all about, it like, corrupt. fucking and in ornate bullshit like even the even like churches in small towns are like very ornate and like you know no that might be there's a lot of words for that bougie sure. is not one it's okay, uh, corrupt fine. is greedy it's yada yada bougie okay. and even in the vatican Child the monster. priests no the pre the the pope and everyone else they pretend they're humble they, it's mm -hmm. all the that reaches and around them but they pretend they're humble. They walk yeah. in the fucking whatever, the robes and all that. Bougie is like, like rich and you're uh, stuck up about it. Reading magazines on a cafe, uh, drinking macchiato and talking about the fucking democratic convention. That's bougie. This fucking hey, retard man. doesn't know what's. You don't know what bougie is, or you fuck you all. You're dumb. Yeah. Um, so you want to think of bougie? I think of like, you know, fancy furniture. Like, you know, fucking yeah, but coats, fancy people. huge fancy uh, the, the, like, fireplaces, you know. Name brand purses, pumpkin spice I don't think latte. Of that at all. I totally think of, not you know, me. But anyways. Huge giant huge giant like marble fireplaces and like, you know, mansions and shit. That's bougie. No. It's part of bougie. If the people who live there are bougie, mm. that's bougie. But the So you're saying the, you could the be material rich, but richness. Not bougie. Is it more of an yeah, attitude you can, towards your wealth? Exactly. And it doesn't mean if it's good. It's just something else, you know? Yeah, Bougie yeah, you know, is that, that attitude of, like, like that high, that academic liberal who, just like, you know, I'm better than everyone. Drinks wine and all of that. And, yeah, How? fireplaces. Oh, you're bougie. Did you know that? that. <laughs> I got a bougie girlfriend. <laughs> a tablecloth. Big Ben's coming. And he's not doing the smiling stuff. It's Wait, is he? Is he gonna go after housewives that pray for people? Right. Does he have a scratch or is that a mole? Oh, there's several moles. It looks like a mole. Moles. Fortune for is a bourgeois is a member of the middle class, a person whose political, economic, and social Opinions are believed to be determined mainly by concern for property values and conventional respectability. What? First of all, learn to type bourgeois. Second of all, he's describing the petite bourgeoisie, which is the high middle class who think they are bourgeoisie. The petite bourgeoisie. That's something right, else. Now you're getting like totally way in the weeds with this bourgeoisie yeah. shit. <laughs> Why are you, no. are you telling me there's different kinds now? And uh, yeah. he says that's a Google definition. You're confusing till Kyle. I'm too high for this. <laughs> <laughs> Pass me some ganja. Here. You know, petite Wait, is like the meaning. You, you get you. petite, right? Petite is like the small version. Mm -hmm. So that's what the Marxists call the, the middle class who supported the system because they wish they were full-on bourgeoisie. Uh, but they weren't. Be they like were like the fake like bourgeoisie. I can't, I can't remember these. Like, once you get into like eastern bloc and like russian like fucking shit my brain just goes i don't know they're all words yeah. <laughs> right but it, things, it's still the those, same thing those people it's like rich and fake rich it's like mansion and make mansion mm. well right? i know what petite is they hate That's them both they hate them both they hate the rich and they hate the middle class who support everything that the rich do because they want to be the rich one one day basically it's but anyway, Ben is, is completely <laughs> on a fucking crusade against poor old ladies. Yeah. Um. How about this? How about we just stop using the word bourgeoisie and bougie? Uh, 
Oh, how about we, uh, we just call people uh, rich that. assholes and not rich assholes? I say we simplify the English language rather than fucking complicate it further. I'm not the one. I agree. <laughs> Roots says, how does Blame Kyle them. know the term McMansion? That's impressive. <laughs> He's a reader, oh, Roots. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to get really rough until you figure out what's what. That is the weirdest threat. Like, why would you threaten middle-aged housewives that pray for people? That's just like, it's the weirdest group of people to fucking threaten. Did it end there? Yeah, that was the end of the, the little clip. Oh, so we got to guess. I don't know. Maybe he's been on Fortune too much, and Fortune has that idea that Christianity is a Jew plot to weaken the West. Yada, so yada, far, yada, you've been. They don't it. understand Christianity and all of that. So they think it's just like, hey man, give the other face. They don't understand the the doctrine of uh, yeah. that penalty, the Crusades, and all of that. Well, so if someone out there is saying Christianity is just lay down and taken in the ass, he's not talking real Christianity. While I I hold a lot of value in a lot of the teachings and you know ideas of Christianity. If we're going to be completely honest with ourselves, Christianity was just a fertility cult that got big and then got refined. There he goes. That guy still. Sure. Is that guy still? Anyway. No, I mean, like, that's, gonna, that's true. Uh, that's 100% true. On, on the that was nope. the, the beginnings of that shit. It was Gnostic. Like, there was, even the Bible, they talked nope. about Gnostics. No. Nope. Like, that's where that shit came from. Okay, I'll give you an idea too. So just a different way of thinking. Instead of like zeitgeist, oh, they took it from the code of Midas and this and this and that. What about the idea that maybe Christianity is such truth that it's not completely divorced from everything in the past? Well, I can the, agree the, to that. The deal I, with I think Christianity, both Christianity is that not 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 all not the entirety of truth is contained in the Bible or is contained in any of the mind. We can know the entirety of truth. So there yeah. was truth. All the way through history, even Jesus cites the Greek philosophers and all that. So yeah, it all know, builds I'm not, up. I'm not saying so that. All I'm that, just saying like that. That is what it is. But like, so it, it's all those coincidences, from. all mm -hmm. those coincidences, all yeah. this came from. All this came from. Maybe instead of like, oh, it's made up and and copying from that stuff. Maybe it's I'm not even saying it's made up because no, no. I'm saying maybe it's because the things that were before part of part of it was true you know what i'm saying they got parts of the reality they yeah, got parts of the truth universal truths right and those yeah. kept and christianity seems the, to be the less the, violent the book about them <laughs> like even like the buddhist like book like the bhagavad gita is super fucking violent like oh, yeah. it's way more violent hinduism than hinduism like child sacrifice <laughs> caste system oh dude the, the fucking story of aja is fucking nuts Read that at 4 a.m. while waiting to go to a fucking uh, court to see about if you're going to spend three or four months in jail. Like, really fucking tired because you can't sleep because you haven't smoked weed in a year. And, uh... Yeah. That shit will trip you the fuck out. <laughs> I'm not saying I've ever done that. <laughs> that shit will trip you the fuck out. But anyway, Ben, leave the old ladies alone. What's the problem? Mm, yeah, there's nothing... Like, like, think about it this way, okay? Let, let's put it. Let's put it this way. Let's say it's all bullshit, right? Like all the, the spiritual shit. Not necessarily like, you know, whatever. But like the, all the, the woo-woo shit is all bullshit, okay? Positive thinking has been scientifically like shown to cause like positive things to happen, right? And praying for someone is a form of positive thinking, like very pointed positive like reinforcement of a you know a goal or an idea or someone else's right and you tell them that you're praying for them so they have that in their head whether there's any kind of actual like supernatural aspect to it like wh that that fucking it, it does something right why would you begrudge someone to do that like whatever pray right who, who like I, you're not hurting my feelings by praying for my dad. Prays like I said, the all only the, time. the only idea I have is this for chanting. That's like that's weakness. That's the weakness of the West. 
See, I don't subscribe Whatever. to like when people like find out what things really are. A lot of times, it it, it discourages them or makes them feel like everything's a lie. And it's like, no, no, you're 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 missing it entirely. Everything's not a lie. It's everything is subjective. And there's a lot about us as like fucking creatures and a lot about this fucking universe. We just don't fucking understand. And we probably never will. There's a lot of weird shit out there. I told my, my, uh, I told Hal this story the other night. This is a hundred percent true. I have at least four or five different people that will swear by this story. My mom, when I was like young, grew a heel spur. You know what a heel spur is, Kyle? I don't know what they call them in Portuguese, but it's like a, it's a, a hook that grows on the, the bone on your heel and it becomes very painful mm -hmm. and you have to essentially get it like fucking sand off or like chipped off like through like surgery. Right. My dad was a preacher. My mom would play bass. His brothers all played interest too. And his younger brother, Roger was attending the service with them and they were having a very lively service. And according to Roger, something spoke to him. who He thinks is the Lord. Um, to go over, grab my mom's shoe off her foot, spit in it, and put it back on her foot. I swear to God this happened. I can't explain any of it, but I swear to God this fucking happened. Wow. And I and 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 the bone For God's sake, folks, this gotta help this gotta make you forget about me and feet. This gotta be bigger than that. And then you gotta forget about me and feet. This is crazy. You gotta remember this. Oh yeah. <laughs> But, Your ankle spit but the, end of the, story, the end of the story is <laughs> the end of the story is her heel spur disappeared. I don't know. I can't explain it. It makes no fucking sense. I don't really believe in supernatural shit, but that's what happened. And like everybody who was there has the exact same story because I've asked them multiple times, especially like during that time when I was very, you know, suspicious of religion, trying to see they trip up, you know. And it's, it's fucking weird, dude. Like, my dad, like, when I was, like, uh, probably, like, eight or nine, he got hit suddenly with uh, severe rheumatoid arthritis. You know what that is, Cal? Arthritis? It, it, well, severe rheumatoid arthritis. It's where every Ooh. joint in your body swells up and becomes inflamed and, and like, severely painful. Like, he couldn't walk. It hurts. Couldn't, couldn't button his, his, his shirt and shit like that. Yeah, I heard about it. Supposedly, people don't don't recover from that shit. It lasted a year and a half, and it fucking vanished. Like weird shit happens all like all the fucking time that we can't explain. You know, those are called miracles. I mean, yeah, a miracle is something. I, I guess a miracle is just something you can't explain, right? Damn, your family yeah, got good luck because so. everybody in my family dies. My mom uh, is the longest living person with primary pulmonary hypertension. Oh, wow. You should speed on their shoes. That's gonna. <laughs> I don't know why, but I I think of a like like a little old Russian lady, just like you know, one of those. What do you call those? A babushka. Yeah, a babushka, babushka, just like spitting on people. You know, just trying to give them good luck and shit. <laughs> a fucking old should gypsy I, just going around. Yeah, should I just fucking wrap swords. something on my head like a babushka and start spitting on people's feet? You look like a babushka. Yo, what up, baby? I wish I was a babushka. Oh, yeah, like you can weird. also speed on their flip flops. It, it works too. And then hit them with they it. Don't yes, <laughs> they don't have shoes. They don't have shoes. And then hit them with it. Just speed on their flip flops. All right, let's uh... smack them in the head. Oh shit, that's the wrong link, AP. Sorry, bud. Oops. Uh, Hi, AP. That was that gay porn you were watching? You just sent him the gay no, porn you were watching? I, I said, God I, damn it. I literally sent that's the link to the video we're about to watch. Okay. <laughs> which is not gay porn. Just to let everybody know. That's what you wanted. I'm sorry to disappoint. Nope. Instead, it's gayer than gay porn. It's Oof. Rick Bawai. So let me get to the real. I think I'm the dumbest person in the world. All right. So uh, you guys remember last week or a little before they, uh, Eric July announced he's going to be doing a magazine. Um. Mm-hmm. Well, in the magazine, they're going to do like these little short one-offs. And um, 
The first one is going to be called Salvage P.I. It's a black detective in a fedora. And a pimp fedora. Another one. Another one. Black detective. Somehow Riververse is becoming one of the most diverse comic book Dude, companies. He's, he's, there's more white characters on Marvel, on current Marvel, than mm -hmm. fucking Riververse. Yeah. Everyone's a black or a woman. A blacker woman. <laughs> a black or a woman. <laughs> or a black woman. Or a black woman. Or a woman black. <laughs> or a blacker woman. We need a little ball Latina midget. Because it's not diverse enough. So. Yeah, yeah. Where's the Indian people, huh? Like the only, like, I guess you call them white people are the Alpha Core, but the guy's name is Solari. That's Italian. That's not white. Oh, yes, Daniel, of course. Horseman. <laughs> he's, I assume he's white. I mean, Chuck I Dixon know. made him. I don't know. I guess we're going to have to find out. All right, so let's check out this uh, this little teaser at the Ripaverse magazine number one. So far, you've been introduced to several characters with their own unique abilities and aspirations. Mm -hmm. Isom, Alpha. Yo, dog, where's Horseman? None of them what, are white. What the fuck gives? Why is there no picture of Horseman in here? Everyone wants Horseman. <laughs> Don't be a salvage. Shots fired. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Who's that? Who's that in the middle? Oh, I take it all back, Eric. You're completely forgiven. Horseman's here. He's in the guys. And whoever that guy is. Yeah, that, that guy on the left looks boring as fuck. Yeah. Is that the is that the uh, the fucking uh, not Tony Stark who doesn't have an Iron Man suit guy? The one on the right looks kind of cool. The girl. It's not a girl. That Another way. one. Wait, the I, uh, that one. Okay, I didn't see her yet. Mm -hmm. it's still blurred. I kind of like it. She got big old titties. I like that. Wait, 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 wait. Number one, yes, big old titties. Number two, why is the Majin Buu, Dragon Ball Z Majin Buu symbol in the middle of her tits? Why? I couldn't see it because there's a monitor blocking most of her. <laughs> yeah, it's the Majin Buu symbol. That is weird. That feels like that is might that, be... She uh... kind of looks like a young Rosie Perez. Oh my god. Is Eric July going to get a Another copyright lawsuit? <laughs> Heroes and villains roam this affluent city of Flores Park, Texas. But what about the private city? I don't think he knows what the word affluent means. Because nothing about anything in this city that I've seen from any of these comic books tells me it's affluent. I would say it's probably more akin to like Detroit. He's about to start talking about bourgeoisie. I'm gonna fucking have a problem. <laughs> See, we should grab Ben Thorpe and point him right at Eric. <laughs> See him, there he is. Get him. <laughs> this is that needs something aside from the muscle of a superhero. Well, that's where he comes into play. This is the most boring looking. Who is this fucking sweet, sweet back? It's Nick Tracy. Shut the fuck up, Kyle. <laughs> Meet Salvage, often Black Dick Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> referred to as the Salvage, a well seasoned private investigator that operates within the city limits of Flores Park. A dapper man he is, but he's no slouch. His line of work is unpredictable, so he's very handy with the steel. But he doesn't just take on any invest. Wait, did fucking you piece of fucking shit? Eric July is going to ruin the fucking Maltese Falcon for me. 
Motherfucker, I, I will come to down that. to fucking Texas talking? and kick your ass from fucking Plano to goddamn fucking Grapevine. You don't fuck with the Maltese Falcon. Why don't you Great put movie, that shit in way. your fucking garbage? You fucking asshole. Yeah, and couldn't the artist, the artist do like just one pass of cleanup? Just just clean up some of those. Nah. Nah, they want to want to look sketchy. Lines. That's not an owl. That's a falcon. <laughs> you can say his whole business is very sketchy. <laughs> Corey, Corey thinks it looks like an owl. I can see how you think that, Corey. But here's the the distinction. See the around the eyes. Owls have big circular eyes for watching for mice from up in a tree. Falcons have very sharp eyes for watching for prey from way up above. I and thought they, it was the eagle. No, that's definitely a falcon. I don't know. I don't fucking bird watch. Well, the only reason why I know you it's watch a, my bird. for sure a falcon <laughs> is because there's a famous movie with Humphrey Bogart in it where the entire time he, as a private detective, is trying to track down the statue, the Maltese falcon. And this fucking asshole just got it in his goddamn office like a fucking paperweight. Yeah. Yeah, Roots, the it's literally the Maltese Falcon. <laughs> Deal. But he doesn't just take on any investigative job. Certain requirements must be met. What are the. You gotta suck his dick. Well. <laughs> then you gotta turn tricks for him. <laughs> you gotta make a trailer in Canada with all his crew. The Salvage P.I. is also a side pimp. <laughs> He's just, all, all the people are like, nah, nah, man. I don't take your money for your job. You gotta go fucking turn some tricks for me and make me your money that way. <laughs> He's just turning on his clients to go fucking suck off some fat Armenian <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a 96 Volvo. <laughs> You'll have to read it to find out. The story is from myself, Eric July, with art from veteran Art Sears. Find Salvage's 13-page introduction in the first ever Ripperverse magazine. After reading the ISOM comic books, I can't imagine that anything happens in a 13-page story. So that's how he's going to fill this fucking stupid magazine? Mm -hmm. That's exactly how he's going to fill this magazine. Yeah. For just seven dollars. This it story is unlike any <laughs> I used Look to not this. care, but Look it fucking this. sucks. Look at this. It's just the most What's generic... going on with his hat? Is he the, the guy from Mortal Kombat? He looks like Oh, oh dude, that job. would actually make oh, him cool. Seven. <laughs> Gyra oh, has a job. dick. Yeah, that's why they call her Gyra. Oh. <laughs> Got him. Anything we've told so far in the Ripperverse, it's a character that fits. How's that not Dick Tracy? That's <laughs> definitely Black Dick Tracy. BBC Tracy. <laughs> we did not job hat. Yeah, his face is it's it's not yellow. Yeah, the, the Ian Flaming estate's gonna sue him for the fucking. Dude, he's got a Batman utility belt on, too. Blackman? What does he have in that? Weed? Uh, black and Miles. <laughs> Magnum Weed condoms. Weed accessories. <laughs> yeah. Some hot sauce. <laughs> in case somebody tries to make him eat mayonnaise. Fits in a much different genre well, he from the other characters. And if the audience responds well to this... Perhaps the salvage. Wait, 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 wait. How's the magazine has a collector edition? Yeah, that's weird. Man, he doesn't even know how to suck. Oh my god, it's so bad. Wow. I just love that. I still love that Vito like has the idea to have a magazine, and then two weeks later, Eric Schleich goes, "I have a magazine." <laughs> Dude, I, 
I don't know who the fuck is gonna like maybe a couple issues. I don't know who the fuck is gonna buy this in the long run. Who the and what fuck does he is have, a shit? Right, what does he have in a, twenty bucks? Does he come with a fucking action figure, a poster, a, a hardcover? A goddamn fucking hand job. <laughs> From Yara and the sauce <laughs> No, you just open the book and like a paper hand comes out and sh starts jerking you off. I don't uh, know why that reminded me of him, like oh, God, take on cut. me. <laughs> you better not be hairy, or I'm sending it back. Ruth wants to know if we start selling hand. Corey's comic books under <laughs> Ministry of DLC. Hey, I'm fucking down. Get a color colorist to come in. Fucking add some colorist. spice to that shit. Yeah, that's what you call someone who colors comic books. Colorist. Oh, oh, okay. So I racist, something those else. Two. Oh, yeah. I, I know. It's just a really bad habit, I guess. It's <laughs> you think back in the day they have they had the like the colorist bathrooms, the colorist fountains. Would I go to the white side? <laughs> I'm thinking no. about that. Like in the fifties, would I or back then, would I be on the you'll white be, side? Where no, would I you'll go? Be, you'll be sent back to Mexico and <laughs> the ship. I mean, I don't know. I feel like most people go by the one drop rule. <laughs> so I would be in the black side. I mean, just as long as you're not on the white side, <laughs> just pick one. Who cares? <laughs> oh my god, I would be so I'm afraid kidding, to get mugged. Justin. I'm kidding. Okay, <laughs> don't kill me in the race war that's coming. <laughs> His own. Oh, she, all, she got all her cousins. Well, Joseph. Oh. Hey, hey remember, all the cousins came true. <laughs> Joseph, you remember when the race war does come? Puerto Ricans are now white. Remember, Hispanics are white now. Mm. Oh, that's just, true. That's true. Just not until you know then. <laughs> hey Seriously? babe, take a walk on the white side. That was <sighs> doo -doo, doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> That's so bad. Dude, that was a pretty lame fucking like teaser for Cash Grab a magazine. Like I, I don't really understand what he like thinks is gonna happen. Like Maybe he's um he's trying to like figure out some way to like make more smaller amounts of money, you know? Cuz like every yep. time, you know, he tries to get like somebody drop, you know, 45 bucks cuz you got to pay for shipping too in addition to the $35 that he charges for the fucking stupid comic book. Right. And I uh I also think he's using the magazine to put in practice that fucking idea he was talking about, which is he's going to put a bunch of horse shit out there and whatever sticks he keeps doing. Remember when he was saying that? Mm -hmm. That he's like, oh, we got to we got to try it out. We got to try it out. Because yeah. when he started, he was like, no, I, I'm the guy. I'm the guy who's going to I have great ideas, going to be great comics. We're going to fight the woke. Now it's like, I don't know, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot, I'm gonna shoot from the all the sides, and whatever sticks, sticks. Well, I think what it could be now, you know, might not. He said be, it, but this is what it could be, right? Hmm. He had a great first campaign, slightly less great second campaign, much less great third campaign, and now his fourth campaign stalled out at one point three. It's almost been two weeks, and this motherfucker still is only. Three hundred thousand dollars more. He's made three hundred thousand dollars more in like what, like a week and a half, two weeks? Because he made that first million in the first day. He stalled out. Those are all. Those are all big amounts of money, dude. And they are big amounts of money, fucking... but his cost, like his overhead, is insane. Cost him because a quarter wanted. million dollars a quarter to fucking run his company. That Yaira money is going to be gone in under a year. And this motherfucker got a five-year contract. I just don't... I see him panicking is what, I, what I'm saying. Like, like it's not to the red line yet, but it's getting there. It's starting to get fucking close. So yeah. I think maybe this is like his his idea of like how he can... um, Like figure Save. out a way to like... 
No, like to like basically pitch his audience ideas and then make them pay to get the pitch. Oh, people love that yeah. salvage PI thing. Then we'll do a full thing instead of the, I'm just going to, you know, throw out alpha core that no one fucking wants. Is, yeah, that's what I said. Like, he, he's, yeah. he mentioned, I remember, I don't know what video you played. He's like, oh, guys, the model now, it's going to be like, I'm going to be testing several things and see what. Like, okay. So, so now you have no vision. You're gonna, you're just gonna he never had a vision. Shoot His it all vision was a he had it. <laughs> like uh, that. He had like the, the headline of the vision. Like, we're going to fight the work at the beginning. We're going to fight the work, blah, blah, blah. Just, just a headline. Never had uh, the content. Yeah. It's uh <coughs> It's not going great for him. I think he's uh dude, I've I've seen clips from uh Dick Masterson pop up and he keeps focusing on this one moment that we we kind of noticed when we watched the behind the scenes of the trailer, but we kind of we we meant we, like we pointed out and then we just kind of went on. Like Dick is convinced Eric July's fucking one Sasuke sisters. Like, convinced. No, it's the obvious... No. It's the obvious angle. And when you do... And when you do a show like Dicks or Red Bars or whatever, your whole show is that. So you gotta, like... You gotta... You really prod in and you really stretch those things. That's why I think it's kinda... It's cool when it merits... And it naturally happens, we gotta shit on something. But when you only do that, that's why I don't watch Red Bar or Dick. Because when it's funny, it's funny. But the other four hours is them prodding and prodding to like yeah. find that thing. And that that is just boring. So yeah, yeah I don't I know if that. he's fucking or not, but it's easy to just hop on that. And I was thinking that, you were thinking that. Anyway. Well, I mean, he keeps harping on that, that one spot where Eric puts his hand on the small of the Sasuke sister's back, and you're just like, yeah, if his wife saw that, he'd be sleeping on the fucking couch for, like, a while. Maybe mm. even lose his house. Because <laughs> someone will just fucking divorce you automatically from that point. Just, that motherfucker. <laughs> Here's some papers. I've been ready for seven years. <laughs> I don't remember now. He just like he just like touch it. Yeah. Wasn't, wasn't and then, the like, there's, like, he just touches the back or he him. does the the like shoulder. Kinda like the the you know the hand to the small of the back. Like right in the middle, like between like in the middle of the back, like mm. the waist. I think yeah. that's proof of simping, but proof of fucking mm, that's a little bit too well, much. Well, that that I mean, this is all just you know. Maybe circumstantial evidence. Yeah. <laughs> but the the look she was giving him in one of the other shots was pretty goddamn convincing. Mm. Like, if you I saw will, will... two people standing and the girl was looking at the guy like that, you'd be like, I don't know if he's fucking her or not, but he fucking better. She, she wants it. <laughs> Look at her. And there's and there's a like a fuck me face that women put when yeah. they you know exactly that's what I was gonna say. It's Absolutely, when you see it from a third party, you're like, uh, I don't know yeah, like that. Absolutely, for sure, they are trying to fuck him. Absolutely, yeah. Because but, why? Because is it they metaphorical are or, or literal. No, <laughs> they, they are satanists. They are that mm -hmm. thing. They and they know how that work, which is like what you fuck the boss and you get control over him and over the company and over everything because he has a wife. You fuck him, and now you get control over him. How it's it, it. How is it Dick, uh, That's worded. He said uh, something about yes, witchcraft comes from the pussy. <laughs> you're like, God damn it! When you're that. right, you're right, motherfucker. Absolutely, oh. they want him on their little hands. Because mm -hmm. women yeah, do Apple. that. Women already do that naturally. But the whole Satanist occult magic stuff, it's like based on that. It's like, it's how you do magic. You control people mm -hmm. with sex, sex magic. Mm -hmm. and, and if you guys donate, Till will do that face for you guys. So, Sex magic face? No. The doomy even eyes. The doomy eyes. Till will do that little doomy eyes look. If you do... 
Well, till you have to wait until they donate, and then you oh. do it. Oh, Don't sorry. give it out for free. God damn you it. work to make me. Yeah, you, make me a you gotta be a bougie oh. hoe. <laughs> Maybe some of a professional whore. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Where do we want to go to next? Do we want to go straight to the Diddy shit? Or do we want to um, take a look at this Rabbi Shmuley motherfucker? I'm going to leave it up to y'all. I've got all the shit right here. Okay. That's very informative in all of your opinions. Fine. Fuck what, you. I, I, you know I what? Know for a second. Rabbi. Who are you talking to? Fuck it. Do the rabbi. You motherfuckers, the people who I'm talking to. <laughs> ah, sorry. I'm talking to talk to with the chat. Oh, sorry about that. I mean, that. the chat can but... chime in too. I will also consider their opinion. What was it? Come again. Sorry. <laughs> Let's do the rabbi. <laughs> the rabbi, you want to go to the rabbi first? All right. I'm seeing it. Ken says Jew stuff. All right, Ken. There we go. Oh, yeah. They're currently they're still in the middle of rating this motherfucker. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's sandwich we... the Jew stuff in the middle. Yep. All right. So, um, let's do the other one first. You guys know that Candace Owens got fired from the Daily Wire recently. Uh, I, heard I thought she left. Like, like she uh, wanted I've, to. I've heard that she got fired. Yeah, that's uh -huh. what I'm hearing. Okay. She might be um, wanting to leave for a while, but. So, anyways, the uh, rabbi guy. You guys, you guys seen this motherfucker around? Here. That interview oh, she had. No, with the not guy. this again. No, not rabbi. So let me get to the real. I think I'm That's the dumbest a, person in the world. Rabbi. Till loves Eric July. Yeah. That's what it is. No, it's not he loves he them. presses the, I the, the shit out off. of that button. <laughs> Dude, I, I hit it like three times to try to get it to stop, and it would not stop. <laughs> so this is uh, Rabbi Shmuel. Was he twerking on Double Kid? Yes, he was giving that child a lap dance. Yeah, he was twerking on the child. I know what you're thinking. Who would ever have thought a Jewish person would be inappropriate with a child? Uh, guys, I think, I think we've been baited. We gotta, we gotta smarten up. I think we've been baited. Same. We've been baited. Ju baited. <laughs> this guy is a fucking nut job. Wait, isn't that, wasn't that guy, one of the guys on G4? Remember? What is his name? No, that wasn't Adam Sessler. <laughs> Adam Sessler. That's not the guy from x <laughs> He's been losing his mind, too. Yeah, he, I mean, he's always lost his mind, but mm -hmm. he's, he's all right, I guess. Like, he's a fucking dickhead, but, you know, whatever. He leaves me he's in not peace, a so I'll, I'll leave, <laughs> I'll leave him in peace. Um... Anyway, so Candace Owens was fired, and Rabbi Shmuley thinks it's hilarious. So he, uh... Oh! Okay, I know what this is. Okay, yeah. go ahead, Till. I'm trying to find it. The one I pulled up, it was just a gif. I'm like, no, I had the fucking video. There it is. Hey, I'm a Candace Owens Jew. Right. Take a look at this guy. I'm telling you, we being debated. <laughs> <laughs> you're being debated. I see through you, Rabbi. I see what you're doing. <laughs> you sure this isn't CK? <laughs> ben Zonas, it's you, Ben Doc. <laughs> I'm a Candace Owen. It says the Candace Jew on his money shirt. Uh, we're on YouTube. Is this I'm not like getting baited. Their... <laughs> Is this like they're like Santa Claus? Does the guy come out Santa Schlobs? <laughs> I, I love Israel and I hate America. Do loyalty. I'm filth. But I love cash. 
<laughs> love money. It's all about the Benjamins. Money, money, money. But more than anything else, what I really want. Only Benjamin. I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't know. I haven't heard anything incorrect yet. <laughs> I mean, he's saying, I gotta believe him, right? He's, he's the source, know. right? What my giant nose needs just to grow more warts is Christian blood. Let me see if I can find any. Let me see. Are you guys... Jesus Christ. Oh, look at the baby no, no, terrified. No. This is baiting. This is baiting, baiting, baiting. Holy fucking shit, that stupid oh, low. Oh, uh, can just oh, remind wow. me something about this Aww. guy? He sells sex toys with his daughter, or with his daughter. Wait, what? His daughter. Who? Who? This guy. This guy sells Rabbi? sex toys with his daughter. Nope. Mm. <laughs> Great bait. Great bait made. I rated eight out of eight. Remember that meme? <laughs> Great bait, mate. This is not my day. This sucks. You're wearing Israeli flags? Esther, you wearing an Israeli flag? You're scaring flag? them. What's this big bird. nose that Sadie has? Aww. Little girl's got Israeli flags painted on her cheek, too. Is that a I love the newspaper things in the back. It says Jewish link. <laughs> That's the name of a pa paper. Big giant Jewish schmoz. Are you a panda? Are you a Christian panda so I can drink some of this? Yeah, okay, good. Happy poor, everybody. Okay. This fucking guy. Dude, like this, <sighs> this guy is absolutely nuts. Here's him on uh, Piers Morgan a few months ago. Surgical targeted strikes. Well, they're the killing a lot of Hamas children. Lives because being Hamas that, lives under their homes. Shalom Muhammad Nahim. What? Check it out. The, the ripping off red bar. <laughs> <laughs> Rabbi Shmuley, with respect, if Israel's being that precise... You know what I was going to do, Kyle? You know what I was going to fucking do? If no one fucking caught on to it, I was going to go full, like, cityscape <laughs> behind me. Like, I was just going to, like... I was going to order a fake beard <laughs> and gray it. <laughs> Dude, I'm I'm gonna give you a full go go ahead. Robert Casbah for ten dollars says need advice from panel and chat. Message in your ex. Well, thank you very much, Rock the Casbah. Oh yeah. Rock the Casbah. Let's see what he Rock has to the say. Casbah. Dude doesn't know the clash. <laughs> he, he he never got the reference from anyone. He says, Oh, excuse me. Need advice. Unvaxxed and Canadian. Electrician and sporadically unemployed throughout the last crazy years. Great new job opportunity to build factory machine presses as an electrician. Which send me down the U.S. to install but requires vax. After all this time of being true to myself and the martyrdom imposed, what now? U.S. entry vax requirement in May 11th. Take job? Hold on stance? That's a tough question, Rock the uh, Casbah. Like, you know, as, mu as much as you want to stand on principle, like when it comes to the end of the day like you gotta eat right and you say that like the, the thing ends on the 11th if it ends like soon like try to hold out as long as you can but if you need that job man i'd say just just do it and take which one that has the, <laughs> the least uh number of side effects yeah i have i had to talk how went away oh he's back never mind kyle's like oh no they're Dude, talking about I, vaccines I'm, so no early. i'm so high I'm, no, I was paying attention, but I, I was feeling like something hot on my balls. I was like, what's going on? <laughs> I hope it's not cancer or anything. What is it? The fucking thing from the cigarette fell in between my legs. I'm so high that I almost burned my balls anyway. Dude, I don't, I don't, I don't know. That's tough, tough advice. Because I don't know how much does he really need the money and the job and stuff. I say if he can, if, you know. Uh, Oof, like, tough one. You know, they're... There definitely a risk is involved with the vax, but I would hope that by now much of that risk would be mitigated. So if you need the job, dude, fuck all the goddamn politics shit. Do what it's going to take to feed you. 
Like that's really what's important. Like in and the end of all this shit, that's what it, what's important. And you know, you still can be anti-vax and have taken it because you need to, you know, go across, Eat. yeah, country or whatever you call it, uh, you know, national borders in order to work. Or you have a second option. You could become trans, get some boob implants, and start streaming and show your tits. That is good. That's also true. What? Like, That's a fucking. I would definitely never, ever encourage anyone to ever fake a um thing in order for a job, because that could be very difficult, and you definitely don't want to get caught. But. You know, I would say explore your options and do what's right for you, man. That's that's really all anyone could ever ask for. You, you got to do what's right for you. Fuck all the politics bullshit. And thank you for the $10, sir. Oh, God yeah. damn it, not this again! <laughs> Fucking fuck, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Eric is just haunting you right now, Till. He's just, uh getting just, in your skin. We got a, Houston got a problem. Uh, I yeah, Rock God, Kevin. I turned that off. <laughs> <laughs> Yeti says the risk from the vax is not mitigated at all. Probably not, but uh, I don't know, man. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. I don't. I don't want to go like all RFK and like it's not. No, it's not politics. It's like putting poison in your body but but it's hard i don't i don't want to do that because i don't know and uh, i don't know you know what i'm saying not even family i did that because i don't know people should make their own their own decisions i don't know you mean to tell me you're not vaxxed who you <laughs> never I, since i was born how dare you you're like, putting everybody ideally you would want to just I hope fucking a thousand sued. Died. like ideally you would just want to sue the fucking u.s government for forcing you to do that kind of shit hmm. but we ain't got people oh. ain't got the money for that shit like how's the u.s doing that and he's coming from canada and didn't have to I don't do know, that how's how the u.s being gayer than canada in this shit i have right? no idea kyle shit fucking Dude, is weird what if what if a Canadian shot Biden? That'll that'll throw things what if off, Biden right? Shot a Canadian. Nobody would expect that, huh? <laughs> all right, let's watch it's this. Shit. Mm -hmm. talking okay. shit. We wish you all the best, Rock the Casbah. Do whatever's best yeah. for you, man. That rabbi Why guy looks like kidding? a turtle. He, dude, his he looks like someone did the. Uh, what was the shit from Finkelstein? Uh, Finkelstein uh, drawing? No, no, the uh, Team America World Police, where they just pubes, <laughs> like the trans uh, yeah. organification or whatever. So many children. You saying he's like a Jim Henson? First, firstly, I kind want to know. What, what... He does look like one of the trolls from Labyrinth. Alf the alien. Remember that? Alf. Alf. Was that the name for you guys? He also does kind of look like Alf. Yeah, he's got he's got a, he's Alf <laughs> favoring. What is the accuracy of your numbers? Because I trust Hamas as much as I trust they, they're complete liars. Secondly, <laughs> Hamas unfortunately wants these children to die because the more that die, the more you're going to challenge me on TV. Israel wants them to live. Israel withdrew in 2005. Hamas builds their military installations under these children's homes, under their kindergartens, under their nurseries, under their hospitals. All right, let we me bring in. We now found 350. What's with this guy on the left? Is that Lurch? I don't know. But, <laughs> but, but that guy isn't a rabbi. He's a rabbit. Mm. All he does is bait. Yeah, it seems like some sort of facade. Like a rabbi who sells sex toys and acts like an asshole. He, he's baiting for anti-Semitism. That's yeah. the whole shtick. That was that video. That was the whole thing. That was the whole shtick. Well, joke's on him. I don't hate the Jews. I hate everyone. The miles of tunnels <laughs> under children's Equally. homes. That's the size of the okay, New York I want to subway bring in, system. I want to be fair to both sides on time. Norma Finkelstein, your response. The guy on the left, is he losing his hair on top? Is it thinning? Is it, it looks like it's just sticking onto a side. I was going to say, holy shit, Norman Finkelstein. <laughs> oh my God, it's like our worlds just collided.
Is this Jew and Jew Prime? Jew and Jew Prime? <laughs> What's the stats on that? <laughs> what would you like? Not a person on this panel has a fucking chin. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Beer's got three. <laughs> okay. Not a person on this panel has a single chin. <laughs> like me to respond to I, I suppose the analogy with world war ii and the fact that indisputably you know many hundreds of thousands if not recently? millions of, of civilians like verbally died in that conflict uh oh, and the oh, argument yeah. is it was for the greater good of defeating the nazis do you see any parallel with wanting and i, I, think I completely you're thinking understand of israel's desire fervent yeah. desire yeah. to eliminate hamas after yeah because he was October arguing 7th, with him particularly about as the hamas vaccine. has stated again and again they want to keep repeating it again and again so on that particular argument about when you wage a war against whether it's the nazis or hamas a lot of civilians hamas. tragically will get killed in the process but ultimately that shouldn't stop you <laughs> Brazilian? Uh, going ahead with the war uh, to try and Ew, achieve your goal what do you say to that yeah. Puerto Ricans. What I would say to that is there's a very good reason why. He has the voice like a vampire. Come here and want to suck your blood. You, you is he Yaira's dad? Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> this case Papa Yaira? was brought before Papa the Yaira. International Court of Justice. That, sounds that like is, a, as I'm sure you know, Obiega thing. that if you examine what Israel has done in Gaza, since October 7th, by virtually every dimension you examine it, the intensity of the bombing, the density of the bombing, the magnitude of destruction of civilian dwellings, civilian I'm sorry, sir, can you, can you talk a little slower? The percentage <laughs> of absolute I can't keep number of children killed the relative number of children killed to uh, uh, combatants killed, the percentage of women oh and children. Oh, my God, get on with it, Jesus. <laughs> you know what? I don't know if I care anymore about anything. That's Jeez, that video. guy is. But speaking of this guy, here's that video of him. Bitch slapping fucking desk. Uh, your name, please? Stephen uh, Bunnell. Okay. Mr. Bunnell, I'm a lot more literate than you, Mr. Borelli. I'm going to believe that's not controversial. Mr. Bunnell, Mr. Bunnell, literally, Mr. Borelli, you can, you can Mr. Borelli, with all Mr. due respect, the problem, Mr. Borelli, is you don't See, know. This was the Destiny's first mistake. Get in your room with like three different old. Possibly Jews. Jewish guys. <laughs> they literally go bad. into law like 40% of the time, and you're gonna get in a room and argue with these people? Are you retarded? They invented arguing. Well, Jewish. By the way, it, I have I never seen such a fucking uh I don't know what you guys call it, like a failed beard. He has like a a fucking giant failure. Spot in his fucking beard. You know the guy on the left? You know this. You know the guy on the left? You know what he looks like to me? Brian Stelter? Ah, oh, damn, it's so small. Fuck. Hold on. I got a better one. <laughs> there you go. There you go. It does. <laughs> Dude, that's fucking spot on. Oh, damn it. Yeah. Did I close the... God damn it. Hold on. Damn, Yaddy. Shots fired. What did you guys say? He still has a till beard. <laughs> Fuck you, you asshole. Let's see. Where is it? Oh, God damn it. ba da ba 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 da ba Literally, like I, I clicked on the uh, the the link in my, my fucking uh, history, and it just took me to a fucking blank page. Oh my god, this fucking piece of shit website, Elon Musk! What are you doing? 
your name please Google mr morelli it. with all mr. due Finkel respect Skinner. the problem mr morelli is you don't know the <laughs> english language to see the misrepresentations that mr bunnell let me read it let me read it mr bunnell i've had it bunnell or morell where i work now they don't want it longer than an inch so i have to like keep it pretty close unfortunately and it gets really itchy. Yeah. Oh, Burrell, I think we're right. I think we're right. Mr. Mr. Borelli, Mr. Borelli, please don't teach me about the English language. Did you read the case? Yeah. Uh, it is Mr. a highly Burrell, special intent. I'm going to ask you again. Genocide. Yes. Please stop displaying your imbecility. Okay, I'm Do sorry if you think the devil. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how you debate. Damn, stop. Destiny getting the fucking bitch slapped by an old Jewish guy. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Oh my yeah. god. And the way he said it was funny. It was so Jewish. Oh, where did you find Yeti? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't put, put on public display that ah. you're a moron. Display Mr. on Mr. camera. You're putting yours in Mr. books. Mr. Borelli. Okay. I read the case around Mr. four Borelli. times. They Mr. Borelli. Says these debates are getting uh, Jerry Springer le level. I mean, the guy on the right kind of looks like a fat Jerry Springer. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Just true. don't show true. genocidal Mr. intent. Morelli, so the Israeli Minister Mr. of Finance Morelli, on the 8th of October. War. I, Wait, you do I know how to smiling. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, you I mean, that would be me, though. It may be meaningless to you, Mr. It was Bunnell. meaningless to everyone okay, in the region. Okay, Mr. Bunnell. Who that is, on this trip before 67? Mr. Bunnell. Mr. Bunnell. <laughs> Mr. Bunnell. Don't change the subject. The actual question you should talk about making money. Getting talked down to by a man in a vest. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, that's a that sucks. Yeah, Off your media blitz. We play. Listen to this. Wait, only Mr. option is combat. Is oh, now an expert on oh, Palestinian oh, mentality. Oh, Where it was a good we faith have effort. A written record. With all due respect. We have a written Mr. record, Mr. Pop Historian. You can't even read the written record. So I don't know why you're referring <laughs> to it. Excuse okay? me. <laughs> I just said there are fifteen thousand pages on Annapolis. And I'm sure you cherry clicked your favorite quote I from all of them. Pick. Okay, that's hey, great. Least, that's Mr. great. Burrell, at yeah. least I had a quote to change. He's changing his name. Burrell. And I can repeat one. I gave you the one. He said Burrell. He's just doing that thing where he like purposely like forgets his name. I do that shit all the time, but it's not purposely. I just forget people's names. <laughs> you so have his you do you want quotes? They asked uh, for all of Israel in 67. Okay, what do you think Bunnell, those quotes were about? You You're not so, going to respond to anything so, I'm saying because oh, yeah. you have no I'll answer. I'll respond to you. That's correct. Okay, okay yeah. Mr. Bunnell. If you're a historian, if you're all this work, okay, then tell me what they said. Don't just tell me a sentence. Tell me by what they said. That they were fake, or that maybe 51% of the people were fake. I wish I was a fat Springer. Look, his missing beard looks like the state of Florida. Destiny just like, after his wife left him for some other dude, he just hasn't been the same. By the way. He doesn't have that fire in his belly he used to. By the way, not some other dude. Have you seen the dude? Wait, the I just dude. saw the dude sitting on his ex-wife's lap, dressed as a woman, and she's like, oh, my baby. The new guy. Yeah, he's a frail-looking little thing. He looks very. Oh, he the, looks like a teenager. Ezra knockoff? Yeah, I think no, yeah, I didn't, makes I didn't sense. I have seen that. You got it? Nah, I've ever seen something somewhere. But, but he's a fruity, like... <laughs> Pretend he's a baby on his on her lap, dressed as a as a woman and all of that shit. Like what he's saying. Fucking Nacho just sent me this shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> the fucking perfect. Fucking... Jesus Christ. Who's his that's, name? The butler. That's Lurch. That's from the Lurch. Lurch. He's really old yeah. now. He's still alive. He goes to like We had another name for him here. Oh really? What do you call him there? It doesn't matter. Moving on. Nope. No. Okay. Well, I mean, all right. I tried. Doesn't matter. Nobody cares. All right. We got. I think it's time to move on to our big story tonight. Uh, Ooh. Diddy's house is being raided 
by Homeland Security. Now, why Homeland Security? I don't fucking know, man. That shit makes no sense to me. Like, why oh, I just got Homeland? To tell real quick, I just got breaking news. The raid is going, and they found a mixtape from Roots Call Home. <laughs> That's why Roots was shaking in their boots. <laughs> hey, better Homeland Security than ATF. ATF would burn his shit down. Ooh. Well, I mean, honestly, at this point, when you want this, get all the evidence and then just burn the place to the ground. Holmes, the rapper and music executive, perhaps being linked to a sex trafficking investigation. He got Perhaps? Perhaps? That is the weirdest place to use the word perhaps. Most certainly right. oh. has been. Multiple cases. Lots of witnesses. Lots of damning testimonies. Yeah, and they're about to... Feed it in pictures? Mm-hmm. We got some shots of a few people coming out of the home. Those people have been detained. Now we're trying to still connect the dots. We do have some sources on scene here. First, they show just a little shed. I was like, "What's the little shed?" And then they zoom out, like a giant mansion. Okay, now that makes sense. That makes sense. That's a nice pool. On scene here that we're getting this information from. We're actually the first ones here with about. Different law enforcement vehicles, at least. There are three Bearcats on scene here. This just Damn, all that, unfolded, Sandra, I would say. It's pretty metal. Was was that guy raping another guy when he showed up? Probably. Active raping. <laughs> That's why I Active raping on the premises. <laughs> Damn. We got an active rapist. Nobody comes close. We got to close the perimeter. We got an active rapist. That's oh, crazy. they got two different places. Okay, they didn't just get one. We begin with breaking news. Federal agents moving in on the rapper Diddy's homes on both coasts. Authorities on site. Moving in on the rapper Diddy? Who are you, his mentor? Oh, got him. Right in Los Angeles and the exclusive Star Island, and that is where we find local news. Christina Vasquez, and what we know so far, Christina. And I am joining you live from Star Island. Wait, Take a look Sasuke? right outside the home of <laughs> Sean Diddy Combs. And I want to direct your attention to what you're seeing left of frame to get a sense of how long we anticipate federal investigators to be here. So that light gray van you see on the left, that is the command control center for Homeland Damn, Security Investigations. that lady has a big ass. And in the driveway with the red and blue that? lights flashing, go back, that go is back. their forensic van. Damn, that was a big ass. I want to see a cop. It. Look at that right there. The Dang. command control Camera center girl. for Homeland oh. Security investigations. <laughs> and in the Must driveway with the red and Miami blue lights flashing, that is their no. forensics van. Definitely As not this Brazilian. is happening here, let's go ahead up to Sky 10 so you can have an aerial view of what we've seen earlier today. As this action is happening oh, here, we one. know from uh, HSI Homeland Investigations that a similar action Was is that happening the very outside same one that of Beaver a went home to? in Los Angeles for the hip hop artists. Now, Homeland Security Investigations no. simply saying that they are executing what they are calling law enforcement actions and that this relates to Homeland Security Investigations New York How? being. How does a uh, like a gay sex trafficking ring have anything to do with Homeland Security? Right. I don't understand. Why this agency? And I don't think that they're going to find anything. I think he's being... He's not being tipped off. He's, he's clearly... He's been getting away with it for like 30 years. I feel like he'd be very like cavalier at this point and just be like leaving like books of evidence around just... A says because it's international. All right, I guess maybe. Hi, Paul. Yeah, Davis. But I would say since the yo Paul Davis. But I would say Ooh, since okay. the heat started going up, he would definitely pay people to just get rid of everything. No. Maybe I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out what they find. 
taking the lead on this with HSI Miami. And Dude, then Jimmy Savile was at least smart enough to have like a fucking cabin just like tucked away in the countryside where he take children to fucking burning in hell right now. Everything you fucking did. HSI Los yeah. Angeles working with local law enforcement partners to execute. What is that? Is that a giant chrome? It looks like the robot from the first yeah. Thor movie. Is it like face would open up and she like heat out? <laughs> you know? That's a stupid artist that made a lot of money with this fucking crap. Wow. Damn, I should have been a stupid artist such actions uh right. saying further information will be provided but as i showed you it should take quite some time it looks like they're going to be here for quite some time oh All maybe that's the coming, rape shot you might remember at a time when the hip-hop artist sean diddy combs I had been the LA home i didn't realize they got his miami home too they didn't get like all his properties at once they should have like coordinated across the country bam because i think i don't this, have much hope said, like another another news report, they said that he they think that he was in New York during the time of this. Right, it's like the Epstein stuff. They found a gazillion shit. They found boxes of DVDs. Where is it? Long, never hear, never hear of it. Unless this is some sort of like something that they they throwing him under the bus completely, and they have the asses covered. Like if he goes down, nobody else will go down. And hmm. but I don't think that's the case. I don't know. I don't think we're gonna. Oh, we found a, a fucking box set of DVDs of B. Diddy raping rappers. I don't think that's ever gonna come out. Well, they did say he like videotaped everything, like all his rooms and his houses are like got cameras and mics and all of them. Just like Epstein, and we're never gonna see. It. You you can see well, we're not you can see, see the cops. <laughs> You no, have not, not exactly see yet. Yeah, I know like, what you're saying. See the light of this. I know what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I don't know. I, I feel like there has been people who have seen the videos, some of the Epstein videos. And they're just not going to ever fucking talk about it because it's too fucked up. No, but right, become evidence. Mm -hmm. Because we can see, remember even those drone videos when that guy, the, the whatever, that guy was flying drones and you could see the FBI like, Backing up boxes of DVDs and stuff, computers. Yeah. We never heard about anything. There was a report that said that they were focusing on the garage. They went in the garage and they pulled out multiple people that they were arresting. And then took a ladder into the garage and stayed in there for some time. Mm. I'm thinking, they're going up or they're going down? What if this motherfucker got like an underground rape dungeon? <laughs> like a, yeah. a gay rape dungeon. Like you, you remember uh in World War II they had those uh those torture chambers under the Eiffel Tower where the Nazis would torture French people. You ever seen that? Yes. No. So they like they had these rooms under the Eiffel Tower that they would chain French people up and like beat them, you know, and just like leave them in there like naked and fucking starving and shit. Under their fucking national monument, so fucked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have you have you seen the latest TikTok conspiracy? Is that they haven't allowed? You know that on the on the top of top of the Statue of Liberty on the flame, supposed to be a tourist viewing spot. You know what I'm saying? They even have pictures. Like you go up a, an elevator, and there's like a viewing area on the flame of the statue. That. They haven't allowed people to go there in like 20 years. And people be saying they be doing the, you know, be doing their rituals and their sacrifices on the flame of the Statue of Liberty. Because, you know, these people is all about the place and what they are corrupting and and all that kind of shit. But what I think, actually, what I think it's going on, dude, it's, yeah, it's the same shit with Epstein. They, they, the black male is just changing hands. Mm -hmm. So, and it just goes to the next guy. Exactly. Everyone that was being blackmailed by Epstein now is being blackmailed by the CIA. Now they're getting everyone. To, and it would actually make sense that they would like, oh, we got to get Diddy's blackmail list and make ours. By ours, I mean the leftist CIA. Because they need the black people now. It makes total sense because they're losing the black vote, they're losing the black support, yada, yada. So they need 
some need to leverage to yeah, have the the black artists so they vote right. exactly i get it yeah <laughs> not even vote like to be out there you know being a propagandist you know what i'm saying i want to know what foreign government's going to have their hand in his pocket like what when, like it may be years before this shit comes out what foreign government has got their hand in diddy's pocket If you mean in his pocket, like that guy, like that guy, did with Terry Crews, I would say he's real. It was, if it's literally a hand in his pocket, like really, or literally I guess be reaching. More of a, Diddy is holding Israel's pocket. <laughs> that's that's prison lingo for their gay. of some civil suits. There was one filed in November. At last check, it was settled, but serious allegations what related to sex teach? trafficking Remember the... and sexual assault. <laughs> Dave Chappelle the roasting him. Between... They think I got a dolphin tit. Small tit. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get a fucking better tit. Dude, he looks way older here than he did in the fucking last shot. Right? Does he dye his that and these beard? law enforcement actions Probably. we are seeing here is something that we are going to be exploring. And, and at this time, we just don't know. Meantime, I want to also take you some video that was shot by local 10 photojournalist Bob like Palumbo. It's right when we arrived here. And you can see a big presence of law enforcement. Ooh, and you're going to see exactly masks. what that statement Ooh. said. That's actually the ninja division of uh, the <laughs> LA Police Department. They have uh, detectives, patrol. SWAT ninja. Is that frozen? In front of the fucking Chad guy. <laughs> fucking hey guys, Officer me, Chad. Frozen. I took some time off from Day Wave to come over here and bust Diddy. Don't worry, I got you guys. Canada Ho! You're going to see members of HSI Miami, Homeland Security <laughs> Investigations, working with... The new bit with Frozen is uh, every time he posts a picture of an Asian person, or I see an Asian person, I'm just going to add him and be like, stop lying, Frozen, that ain't you. Miami Beach police and I can tell you shortly after we arrived here and we saw them all gathering outside of the home is when they then entered the property. Who the fuck is this guy? I told you, Officer Chad. Ooh. Excuse me? Does it say that? Does it say Havana on his fucking forearm? Or Hannah? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's that's one of those things that you can read from each side, you know? Yeah, the Illuminati. Yeah, that gay ass shit. Dan Brown put on his book. Remember? <laughs> Whatever yeah, book Dan Brown had, jail. like the Illuminati. <laughs> I read that fucking <laughs> jail. I was like, oh, that's all right. I love how, like, this guy, little chubby, but you'd be like, oh, he's a little normal looking guy, but next to him, he looks extra chubby. Like, he looks <laughs> like a porker. <laughs> next to this fucking ripped, giant bearded motherfucker. <laughs> he's just like, hey, man. Like, sees the camera, goes, just pushes the fucking ripped guy out of the, out of the frame. Like, all right, now. We gotta stop hanging out, dude. It make me look bad. <laughs> and uh, they have been in there that entire time coming back out here live once again as soon as that video you just saw ends and they move into the home you're looking at live we have not seen anyone emerged but there's a forensic stand here and a full-blown command center shit, on site we are idea. hearing <laughs> get back behind me are... yeah she just like swings into the frame go back get back that's what she called the Sasuke Hey guys, I'm talking here. <laughs> so they combined the two Soskas to try to get them get her looking a little better. They combine their age as well. Jesus. Seen anyone emerged, but there's a forensic stand here and a full blown command. <laughs> Steps right out in front of the camera. <laughs> Is that the and new gimmick for the on news? site. We are hearing uh, from a source that they are. I, want, I wanted her to step. I wanted her to like uh, emerge from behind the tree, just like, do like a barrel roll. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Pop up and just like they're getting forensic vans here on the way right now. Expected to be here for several hours. A neighbor telling us that they arrived here several hours ago. So it looks like a long investigation ahead. Reporting live from Christina Vasquez. 
local tenant. She looks like she's selling real estate with my mom. <laughs> right. Well, uh, I I haven't heard anything of what has actually come out of the the Diddy house. A lot of cum samples. Samples. Probably a lot of just like like bloody oh. like mattresses, kind of like that. It's pretty much. I would assume it looks a lot like the stuff they brought out of the Jew tunnels in New York. You know, stained kind of mattresses. Like stained mattresses, um, menorahs, uh, small, fragile people that haven't seen daylight in forty years. I don't know. I guess uh, I guess have to wait and see what the cops actually find. Dude, imagine combing all of those rooms with the black light. It's gonna take the whole week. Let's go look at Jackson Pollock, fucking. <laughs> 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 like Diddy just hell of writes his name in jizz in every room. <laughs> <laughs> Can only see it with the black light. Dude, like I wonder how deep it's gonna. Go. I mean, obviously there was a lot of fucking rappers involved in this shit. But like, all I know for sure is this is not out of justice. Mm -mm. This is not out of goodness or kindness or what's right. All no, I know is that. an opportunity here. Yeah, that's something. I see, uh, like it's like a, almost like pageantry. Like it feels like a, like a play, you know. Like they're 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 making a show of things, you know. Because they said yeah. the cops said that they were there before the fucking crime scene tape was up. How the fuck you get there so quick then? Like, how did you know this was happening if you were getting there literally minutes after the cops arrived? <laughs> not <laughs> not just says it's a bunch of photo albums with Justin Bieber's name on it dude like yeah. when is Justin Bieber gonna come out and be like yo guys so yeah daddy totally raped me <laughs> I think he hinted at something dark in the past like after his conversion or whatever I don't know I don't know either, he's man. praying. He's praying that God gives him the ability to not shit himself back. <laughs> to not like just shit. <laughs> I'm finding a bunch of like people talking about it in videos, but I'm not finding any, like any like direct videos of uh, Bieber talking about P Diddy raping him. No, no, I don't think he never said directly, but he, I heard someone saying that he's been talking about like that getting into the industry it and it's dark and it's a lot of dark stuff happened in his past. No, no, he keeps saying dark. That is, I don't think he's going to specify. He's probably like embarrassed by it or something, you know. Is that Bieber? Yeah. him bleaching his hair like that. He's oh, had a blonde. Crazy. Yeah, he's been... Is the real? What's the biggest fucking title, biggest clickbait ever? Where I was sipping lean, I was popping pills, I was doing Molly, um, you know, shrooms, everything. And it was just an escape for me. Oh, you was asking for it, buddy. Video as we dive. <laughs> see, I want to see more of that interview. He was asking for it. <laughs> All these drugs, the, his booty was loose. I'm sorry, Bieber. <laughs> His booty was loose. I mean, he definitely looks like a guy that probably got molested. You know? Yeah, I, I think it's a big old clickbait. I don't think he never speaked about well, it directly. It's, it's one of those. But it's, uh, it's one of those videos. Oh wait, Let's see, Let's see what Yeti got. Oh, well, yeah, like I said, he has hinted. Oh, God damn it, Yeti, yeah, not this shit. I can't play the Yeti. My channel's oh my monetized, motherfucker. Oh. That was uh, supposed to be Diddy and uh, uh, Meek Mills. <laughs> Fucking Yeti just sent me that with no context like a while back. I opened it and just went, why? <laughs> why did you send me this? Um, that's disturbing. Yeah. Is it fake and gay? 
I mean, I, Very I would gay. hope it's fake, but it's definitely gay. Very gay. Yeah, Roots, we saw the other day that video, like the whole thing when Diddy was giving him the, the Lambo in the mansion. This one's titled, Diddy is Drunk and Acting Gay Again. <laughs> Another one. And who's that guy? How many gays are here? A lot. Oh, look. And then another one. He looks like a knight. Like a ball sack, doesn't he? Did you see that? What the fuck uh. is this? Why are black people being, like, really, like, feminized? Gay. It's so weird. Like Single the mothers. gay black guys becoming like very, it's it's just weird. This is now the live is live on There's so many different versions of Morpheus in this room. <laughs> I mean, if I had Morpheus, a up... Dorpheus, Orpheus, <laughs> Jorpheus. <laughs> if I had a wife that looked like Tiny, I would be gay too. Uh, Have you seen her? She's hideous. Is that Usher? I think that's Jay-Z. You guys are Same racist guy. this hell. I don't no, know these people. That's Jay Z on the left and on the no. right. Who and on the right. <laughs> Look at this motherfucker. Yeah, who's that? Sammy David Jr. Hey. That's Black Royce. <laughs> <laughs> That's who Paul. Black Royce. So you just mean Royce? And whose dad is that fucking. Uh, who was that white guy that converted to black? <laughs> Oh, Sean King. Sean King. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna be white again. This black shit is too good. <laughs> oh, it is Jim Jay Z. I told hey, you guys. He look young. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, he so sad he couldn't be there. very gay but this is a different kind of gay than I was I was uh thinking you know what that albino guy he's probably like a producer or something like you know what I mean like behind the music type of mm -hmm. guy Probably a producer or something. Yeah, all this shit's just creepy. Where the fuck is... There he is. Walked up and licked his lips immediately. What the fuck? Wow, he looks super gay there. like the whitest gathering of black people I've ever seen. I, Everybody's like in suits and drinking champagne. <laughs> was that that was supposed to be him? Is there obsessed gay? with money? Roots, do you, do you have something to confess, dude? Go to the church, dude. Mm. Tell your priest. Tell a priest. Go be a pastor, a priest. <laughs> This is another art of the dialogue.
uh, first and foremost, um, I just, just want to say, I know a lot of people want to hear these stories and everything like that, because this is stuff that happened back in the day. And then maybe that if back they knew... The gay. Oh. There was gonna ever be a YouTube. What kind of good is that with the beard, like coming off the mustache, media. like ping pong? And what kind of what, what kind of good is that, bro? I love how Kyle is judging every guy's beard. It is weird that his his beard and his his like sideburns don't like meet. It's just very strange. Uh, a lot of look, stuff. Right there, look. They don't fucking meet. He has the alopecia. No, it looks like he had to shave it that way. The the Dominican guy was drunk because that's all wrong and the and the <laughs> the, the, the stuff he does here like it's like what? <laughs> Nobody does that. It probably wouldn't have got played out like it did, but things happen and and these are just stories from the past. I would like to use that as uh, what you call that. Um, just, just to, just to clear the facts up what's going on, but it all started, we was in Atlanta and this story starts when I'm with Puff and he's in the uh, exotic bookstores and he's doing shopping, right? He's shopping, getting his stuff. All right, we heard all this. I'm going to skip that. We, 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 that yeah, yeah, we Same day. Um, this rapper and him. They all in the room together. You know, it's Sarah, the girl, Puff, and, and this dude, this rapper. So uh, I'm hearing at the door and stuff like that. Like, yeah, so then next thing you know, somebody rang the doorbell. We had the presidential suite where we was at. So I opened the door, and uh, the dude said, yo, I'm here for my cousin. I said, who your cousin? And he said, uh, Ja Rule. I said, well, he's huh. busy right now. So did he fuck Ja Rule? <laughs> Jesus. Was it, didn't Ja Rule was like big in the early 2000s and then yeah. not again? Yeah. yeah. I always get him mixed up with Ludacris for some reason. No. He said, oh. He also busy was big what? in the early 2000s. They're in the room, they busy. They don't want to be bothered. He said, well, I'm going in there. I said, Bro, you ain't going in there because he told me they don't want nobody to be bothering him. And he was like, yo, I don't care, man. I'm going in there. That, that bull like that. I said, yo, bro, Jesus Christ, I had to come down here and take the air out of my body before you get in that room right there. <laughs> watch, watch. This dude's like protecting these gay rappers, but at least he takes his job seriously. Really? I'm going to body you for these queers. He tried to bum rush me. I grabbed his. Bum rush you now that the, the story's piano. getting really gay. When I threw him into the piano, Puff and Ja Ru runs out the room. Puff got his towel. Ja grabbing his towel, but they butt the naked. And so then uh, Ja was like, yo, what's going on? Yo, Jay, that's my cousin. He know me well. You know, uh, and Puff was like, yo, Jay, what happened? I said, he tried to get in the room. I told him he couldn't get in the room. And he was like, he just looked, Puff looked at Ja. He said, yo, Ja said, you ain't want to go in that room because a lot of freaking shit going on. <laughs> so I was like, oh, he Jesus said there was a lot Christ. of freaking shit going on. So that was. I think, I think that's enough of the gay stories. I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to hear any more gayness. Dude, Puff Daddy is like a grease. <laughs> just slathers over this show with gay also speaking of black mafias have you heard the new one and and it's like for real i want to get some some of the video some of the evidence you know like there's the bohemian grove yeah right all the quote-unquote powerful women shalabama oprah blah, blah 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 do you know they have the belizean grove the shimanati yeah the Dude, there's a grove. fucking Shimanati? Yeah. Oh, you gotta Instead of an owl, Shiman. it's like a fucking giant tree. And they do the, the stupid rituals and that shit. 
Beyonce, Oprah, and they have like just like Bohemian Grove, they have like the actual actuaries and souvenirs, and it's just people wasn't looking at it. Wasn't looking at it. God, do they use their women, peri blood? Women gotta even make the Illuminati shit fucking work. Brutus, tree. black people made the Illuminati shit. You know what? What I realized. You know all this, uh, you know, rappers with one eye, blah, 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 all that shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, that's, uh, what the guy, Beyonce's husband, I oh, just forgot his name. I'm too high. Uh, Jay-Z. He was just in a video. Jay-Z. Yeah. Jay so Jay-Z and a couple other rappers and all that, they, because when you, when you become a Mason, and that's what Jay-Z is, when you get to a certain level, realize that high level Masonry is how to make your own coat. That's high level masonry. It's how to make your own little masonry. So Jay-Z made his own little masonry for rappers. You can see it like, very clearly, right? It's all of those rappers that are kind of under Jay-Z and they all do the period, but they're so dumb. They're so dumb that they couldn't do different shit like all the other masons and Illuminatis and the, the elites. They don't use the 70 hundreds eye and the obvious shit. You know what I'm saying? But this fucking N words was so dumb that they couldn't do anything creative. They just got the eye and they just got the pyramid and they just got the obvious shit and then they and then people believe they are the Illuminati. No, 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 no. It's just a little quote under Jay Z that pretends it's Illuminati because Jay Z is a high level mason that learned how to make a, his own black male ring. Boom. I mean, got it here first, folks. You didn't get this. Not even in Alex you Jones franchise, Boom. right? You gotta. You gotta. <laughs> We got to say that Brazilian, crazy Brazilian was right about that shit. Nobody was saying that. I mean, that's how you fucking franchise Boom. in the end, right? You you, uh, you bake all the shit in. I mean, that's what fucking Eric July is trying to do with his goddamn fucking Ripperson shit. He's trying to build his own gay comic book YouTuber Illuminati. <laughs> that's where like all these night letters and shit start coming in of people going, oh, we don't like how you, you backed the wrong horse on this one. Fucking gay. This is fucking gay. All right, guys, we got a couple minutes left in the show. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Share this link on all your favorite social media. Let the people know we're about seventy uh, subs from hitting one k on YouTube. So share those links out for us and help us get there. And also, we got a couple minutes left, so hit that Streamlabs uh, link down in the description or that super chat button. Or hey, there's even a buy me a coffee option. But most importantly. This Friday is the first episode of the Hammer Club. So make sure you go to ministryofdew.locals.com and sign up. We're going to be giving away some uh, free codes um, this week. But before that, here's a, here's, a, here's, a, here's a little one we haven't done in a while. Now time for everyone's favorite game show is... It's oh, I love it. It's the best one. Oh. We answer the question, is it a mod? Damn, it makes me miss Pero Lucas. Se Mati. <laughs> y, y acá voy a... a mí no me arrastres. <laughs> que llevó, oh, eh? Toasty. Eh, hay que buscar un presidente de precedente. Bueno, Mati lo dijo ayer. Dude, I cannot stop staring at this guy's bald spot. I oh, thought you were going to say this... Bitch tits. No, I'm looking at this dude's ball spot. <laughs> Holy oh, shit. What the that's shit? Where... I didn't shit. notice. <laughs> that's all I that's saw was a ball, <laughs> giant glaring ball spot. That's where Kobe's helicopter was supposed to land. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Alright, so here's the... Uh... Oh. Oh. Impactante. Fíjense. No. We're watching this bitch shoot. <laughs> okay, so what the fuck? Dude. What is that? Dude. That's a drone. Oh, I mean, man. if it is, that's no. one of the coolest looking fucking drones I've ever seen. I want one. Holy shit, that's awesome looking. I don't even really? care if this I... is fake or not. This is fucking badass. I mean, a drone could look like anything now. Have you seen the taxidermist guy that uses animals as drones? Yeah, the cat drones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I have seen it... that. 
it could they could look like anything now so even your hamster oh you look like a cat drone oh no 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 vfx yeah but it looks but, really but creative cool. they did something different with that little yeah. circle thing the the title is like is this the uh the the description of the craft from the bible the wheel within the wheel oh the enoch stuff yeah I think it's lot, enoch, some yeah. people think that shit's an alien like a description of an alien craft and like or it was a electronic circuit because that's also kind of what it describes it's kind of the same description tesla gave when he uh, figured out how to do <laughs> alternating current Es realmente impactante. I wish I was an alien. That's a pretty fucking cool alien. looking craft. Este es como lo, el, el autito de los goddamn, uh, what do you call them? Uh, es... What do you, you call that? Like a... Uh, fuck, what are those things that keeps things uh, upright? Um, oh, a, gy a gyroscope. Gyroscope, yeah, it looks like a fucking flying gyroscope. Muy buena la Stories with Joe says, whoa, did a Back to the Future jump. Ustedes se creen que el auto de los supersónicos está bien así. Claro, ¿A alguien se le ocurrió? No, no. Existe. Hay gente que busca, que se informa, que ve. Un dice extraterrestre argentina se parece al del libro Ezequiel. ¿Viste? ¿Ezequiel? El del libro Ezequiel. See, when they get closer, I don't know. Argentina. ¿Dónde lo hacen? Están entre nosotros. Are they near us? They come or do they get here or something like that? Do they enter? Are they upon us? That's what it means. Upon us. I mean, it looks pretty damn convincing. Like, if that is visual effects, they did a damn good job. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It's pretty interesting looking. Like that's that might be one of the coolest like UFO like types I've ever seen. I've never seen one like this before. Usually they're like either pill shape or like cigar shape or usually saucer shape. Yeah, that's why I think it's made up because that that thing doesn't make sense for no type of flying. It would break, it would I don't know. It doesn't make sense. I mean, maybe those things spin hyper, hyper, you know, velocity and create some sort of, you know, uh, bubble around the 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 vessel so it can move through space quickly. Hey, you're new. Nerd. Nerd. Or maybe those are actually stargates that are like. And they, when they jump, they just turn on the Stargate and go through it. I knew he was going to say Stargate. Saturno. Saturno. Come on, man. I love fucking Stargate. Al Alfred te cree. Mira. Is this music or what? I don't know you. Angels in your cool craft. Viene con sorpresa. De Saturno. It's the weirdest fucking music to play with with this video. I was trying to find one that I saw the other day, but it's like it was on a TikTok compilation and I couldn't find it on YouTube, but it was like some black dudes like filming. That one looks pretty legit, even like all the movement and how everything blurs, like it starts like a meteorite. It's just a meteorite falling with the, with that, uh, with fire from in the back and the guy's like, oh, look, dude, it's a meteorite. And then it splits and they're like, oh, the meteorite split, whatever. But all the parts, they stop falling and they start flying sideways. So that's pretty cool. See, and I think the, 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 the way and you and look, some I... convincing footage is you use real footage and you add extra shit like that, alter it slightly, makes it harder for the eye to figure out if it's fake or not. Right. That one, I was like, okay. We talked pretty, about the corridor crew before good. we watched their, like, uh, them watching UFO footage. Yep. 
that shit's pretty funny. Fun. I like the what is the guy that wears the stupid like fucking little tiny like futuristic glasses? <laughs> <laughs> totally <laughs> not, totally not Nick Rochefort from. You know the guy who does with Sam Hyde the stuff the 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 uh, realtor yeah, yeah, guy yeah. Nick yeah, Rochefort. Yeah. Nick Rochefort. He's basically him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those guys watched a lot of MD and they just don't admit admit it should not be canceled. Yeah, they just they don't definitely say it watched it. <laughs> Definitely, all the timings and the camera angles and all of that. Shit, if I had the fucking money, Kyle, I would totally rip off Eric Andre's like shit. Like I would like just build like disposable sets for the show and just like destroy them at the end of the show. <laughs> Pull up my hammer. <laughs> That's how you end Amber Club. You destroy the set around you. <laughs> again, just... again with blanks, actual blanks, and then like the the the, the exploding blood. Yeah. You know, it's trigger. <laughs> yeah. I just want the like jumping through like a fucking shelf and like ripping a desk in half. <laughs> and sitting down and then all new stuff slide right in front of me. I know it's gonna I'm gonna it's gonna cost a lot. I gotta get stage hands, I get prop people, you know, fucking uh, carpenters to build the, the flimsy sets. Lots of balsa wood. It's gonna be I'm gonna have to buy a ton of balsa wood. So please Go sign up to ministrydo.locals.com and come join us for the Hammer Club so I can buy balsa wood. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed the show. We will see y'all tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Man, this one flew, flew by. Mm -hmm. Didn't it? Oh my goodness. Yeah, means it was good. And Roots, don't worry, we haven't heard you being mentioned on the Diddy lawsuit yet, so I don't think Discovery extends to the Calhoun properties. <laughs>